Hello everybody, on a walkabout again. Well, I'm getting a bit worried about the conduct of the police within this country, especially the Met. This seems to be where the uh, emphasis is on the problems of police conduct. It seems to be where a lot of the flashpoints are with regard to police involvement. And there's very much a two-tier situation going on. Certain elements are treated completely differently to other elements. Just in the last few days we saw an example of a man who uh, made a statement on a placard or a flag was it and he was promptly arrested. Yet other people, masses and masses of threatening crowds are allowed to carry on unabated. It really is a disgusting and disgraceful situation and it all appears to be centred over one issue or a collection of issues about that same subject. Again I'm being very careful with my words. When you start exposing truth, when you start going after facts that the establishment don't want you to know about then you suddenly become inconvenient. Now, whenever I come on YouTube and I, I talk about things, I tend to go so far to the line, but I don't cross over it because I know what's on the other side. I know what could happen. And, you know, I think too much of my wife and my two kids to even go there. If I was a single man, might be a di bit different, but you can get near the truth and get people thinking and get people talking that's for sure but what happens when you get too, well too close to the truth to the point of exposing it yes the background is slightly different here i just had to pause the recording and just walk past the gathering well when you get too close to the truth and you do expose it for what it is the establishment and whatever means they have at their disposal will want to finish you they'll want rid of you they want you gone imprisoned wiped out and we've seen this haven't we numerous times I mean you look at what happened with Tommy Robinson over an inconvenient breakfast he was in London where apparently he shouldn't have been and two million coppers come into the cafe and nicked him for having a breakfast and being somewhere he shouldn't have been. Uh, he was there, as he said, in a journalistic capacity. And that ban or, or that bail situation he's on is coming to an end. And what was the most disgraceful and really worrying thing, he was out celebrating his daughter's birthday in the street and he was approached by officers and what happened next boom he was nicked again worrying isn't it if they can do it to him they can do it to anybody else and you look, look at how other people are vilified by the mainstream katie hopkins is another one but the problem is when you get you know people like this situations like this is how they react when they're confronted. Now, Tommy has done an awful lot of work and in my view, he's just a concerned citizen of this country like anybody else and worried about where it's going for our futures and our kids. You can see that all the time. I've seen some people accuse him of being a, an establishment pawn and as an establishment player, but there's that that side of things as well, Russell Brand too. It's all a big pile of shite, really. But what the establishment use is your reaction against you because what tends to happen when these people are confronted, and I've seen video of Tommy, they fly off the handle. What are you doing? You get away from me. What are you? Please. Right, you're nicked, off you go. And then you'll find yourself in all sorts of trouble. The same is true on YouTube. You know, you react to a situation that happens and you react in an angry or brash manner 
that reaction is weaponized by the peop very people who have got the problem with you. Hmm. Be interesting to see how this turns out, but I do worry what they're going to do with him, what, where they're going to put him, and how they're going to deal with him. You let me know what you think in the comments. I'm off, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. Oh, by the way, here's another video for you. Toodaloo!